you, Sean. Coach, congratulations. I've known you for a long time, and so have these great folks. This has been a big day for all of us. I'd like to ask all of you to stand that are here for the coach. Look at them all. Thank you. There it is. What do you think of that, Coach? Uh, Tom, uh, thanks for the introduction, and uh, it was a great video. It's the first time I've seen it. I do have a lot of the gang here. The reason uh, I have those numbers uh, in uh, programs or whatever is because of a lot of these guys. My first team uh, members, 1966, at uh, Country Day are back there, and the last team I coached, 2004, in that double overtime victory, we're here in one of the Lads was on the uh, uh, video that knocked a pass down in the end zone that gave us that victory over Harrisonville. So I'm thrilled that my team is here, not just the players, but the parents, alums, our head of school, Lisa Lyle, our AD, Don Maurer, and that's, that's, that's a team, and that's what you need in any program. I've been very fortunate to be involved in many programs, but uh, certainly... Uh, I think I hit a home run with uh, Country Day and my CDS. Seven state championships with the Rams. So let's tell some people what they don't know about you. Out of high school, you went into the United States Marine Corps. You studied history at St. Louis University, bachelor's degree, master's degree there on the GI Bill. St. Louis University High, after you had spent some time at St. Vincent's home. You went to Marquette, and you led that football team for 11 years, but you didn't just do that. You coached basketball there, baseball there. You coached wrestling, you coached golf, you were the athletic director, you taught history and other subjects. Did I miss anything, coach? Yeah, I had the bad boy study hall also. <laughs> <laughs> and that, so in 1966, Country Day hires you, and we saw in the video that you had a little luck. No, I think it's because you agreed to also be their wrestling coach. Yeah, uh, it was a strange <laughs> deal. I, I came in and they didn't have a wrestling coach, and Russ Stickney, who was our AD, didn't want to coach wrestling again. He hated it, but he said, why don't you coach it? You had some background in it, uh, Don Whitney and Hap Whitney, uh, one of the fellows out of Marine Corps with. His brother was a four-time state champion, and he said, I'll come over and help you. They needed somebody who could, coach, uh, who could teach music and coach wrestling. That's a hard combo to find. <laughs> <laughs> but they did, right uh, before school started, and so I was the assistant for a year. So I did that, and uh, that, was, that was pretty interesting. And, but I have coached a lot of different things when you mentioned about going in the Marine Corps and uh, I kind of got duped into doing that because when I went down to the recruiting uh, office, my mother had a sign for me to go in. Uh, I thought he said we were going to Paradise Island. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I found myself at Paris Island and I realized that that wasn't quite what I had in mind. <laughs> but I mentioned that about the Marines because it really shaped my life uh, and uh, it was something I needed at that time in, 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 in my family life. And also uh, the GI Bill, that was big. From there, I, uh, I had a couple of mentors. Uh, Father uh, John Bannon, who was head of the history department, persuaded me to switch majors, the best thing I ever did. And then Doc Eberhardt, some of you might remember him. He, was, uh, he ran uh, programs and uh, he was my track coach and he also was uh, head of the PE department. He helped me uh, get, get uh, the job at St. Louis U High. Uh, where I was C coach, uh, soccer coach, varsity soccer for a couple of years, and track coach. And after two years there, they needed somebody at Marquette High School for to be a varsity football coach. I had never coached on a varsity level in football, but uh, the uh, it was a, uh, Marquette was a nursing school, and the nursing nuns loved the jibbies. And Father Tom Kelly said, "I got the man for you." Uh, I went over. I was the only male teacher in the school. Uh, I was the only coach, uh, so I was a football coach. I had a fellow named Harold Tomachek who was, uh, played at Mizzou a few years. He came down two days a week. Jerry Maher, who was in the audience, was on my team. He was the captain of one of the teams, later coach at Ladue High School. Jerry remembers we dressed in a, in a boiler room under the school. They didn't have a gym built yet. And we walked down four blocks with their uniforms on to the riverfront 
climbing through the boxcars, the tracks, and practice on the baseball fields. We did that, and we didn't know any better. We loved it, and the kids did it, and they played, and they played well. They were tough and competitive. The school had a great academic program and uh, a great community support and a great administrative report. And that's been the thing I've walked into in every part of uh, any job I took. I went into good programs and didn't screw them up. Uh, as far as I as far as I know, but I, I was really lucky that way. And that final year, you knew not you didn't tell anybody. You told a couple of people, but you knew that was going to be the last year. And you won the state championship, down 25 points in the second quarter. You came back and won it. And you had your team surrounding you, and it says it right here on your plaque. This was Ron Holtman's motto, and it says it on a Harry Weber sculpture at MICDS. It's always the team, ladies and gentlemen. Ron Holtman. Thank you.